Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Wednesday, it is group lesson day. It's my favorite day of the week. Hi Pen. Hi. I do not know about this camera. I feel like it is failing me, you guys. I feel like it's failing me, I need a new one. We buy about two cameras a year, which is pretty good actually, if you think about how much we use it. So. Good morning and welcome to today. I'm excited for today. You know those days you just wake up and you're excited? Today for us is our first day of summer vacation from school, which means oh, way less stress. All right, Penny, go to your spot. Go to your spot. Look at my horse be going to her spot. Go to your spot. Don't play games with me. <laughs> There you go. Wait. There you go. So at night we brush their hair and then sometimes in the morning when we wake up, it is all knotted still. Welcome to your first day of summer vacay. Oh, summer. Well, that we, that's why you got to stay up late last night. But look at your shorts, what the heck happened? My dog jumped on <laughs> Where is your dog? Before we start this vlog completely off, I want to share something with you, something exciting, and then I want to have like a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you guys because today I had this taller than her. I had this huge epiphany. <laughs> I was bending down. But well, nice bend, try. Bend down a little bit. Yeah. Bend down. Bend down. And <laughs> all right. So, first of all, let's show you guys something really exciting. We'll show you guys while the horses have breakfast. So this is Sam's plan. He was working on it last night. I'm so excited. Now I know he's working on it. I'm gonna like force him to do it faster. So you guys know that we walk our horses every day from there to there. So, and you guys know that I've always wanted to block off this area so they can't get to the road. So basically Sam is stringing up some fencing from there to there so that we'll have all this area all this area completely enclosed so that field will be open to their winter field and to this area so then he wants to get a gate for here we already have two two gates i don't know why he doesn't use them but he wants to get a new gate so basically he's going to put a gate here a big gate and then every morning when we come down, we can essentially open this gate and the horses could just go out to the field by themselves. We won't even have to walk them there. It'll be like so much better. Well, then why don't we just open this? Yeah, we could just open this too. Like, but he wants to get a gate and I think a gate is better too. Stronger, anywhere, anywhere your dad wants to put a gate, I'm well, good with it. Yeah, we put that there once and now we can't get it out. He did such a good job with it. So then we've toyed with the idea about if we would leave this open all the time so that the horses could go back and forth from this field to that field use the arena when they get hot like they just have access to it all the time unless we close the gate so like they could go out in the morning when they were ready and then at night we could close the gate so they're in here and they could like yeah like so there's so many options so many options like we could just leave it open they could go inside every day when they want to have a drink and and cool down and we wouldn't have to like be bringing them back and forth all the time and it just would be so much easier but my one concern or at least for now my one concern is this this area of the grass we want to keep cut in front of the barn like this is the area that we use but if we start letting horses be out here I call this our little courtyard and it might not seem like that big of a deal to you guys, but to me, this is like one of my favorite parts of the barn is this little area that we have right here. If we start letting horses have access to it whenever they want, then it's gonna get all torn up and all, and all messy. So I don't know if I like that idea, or I mean, should I just be like, who cares if this gets wrecked? I'll use the other side of the barn as our entrance. But anyway, that's our plan. I'm excited, I'll show you. This is like our driveway, our road, right here. So, the fence will go along there so that we can still use the driveway, but they'll have this area and they won't be, have access to that field over there. It'll just be this big walkway that they can go from field to arena, from field to arena. 
That makes me so excited. You're gonna take them out by yourself? Oh, I did it wrong. I did breakfast wrong. Well, you're just gonna take them out by yourself? Wow. Sophie's so, so empowered now. That's amazing. Like, I just love to see her growing. She's just growing. And I know she's 12, and this is when this kind of growth happened. And it happened to Gabby. And she was like, started with her when she was 11. I video and bring the horses to the field. It just does not work. But somebody was commenting on how good Penny is for eating the tall grass instead of like only the short grass. So that was my other concern about letting the horses have access to this little courtyard area is that why go into the big field if they can just sit here and eat this beautiful, nice, fresh grass every day because this has got all the sugars. Okay. Every time you sit down, Ruby thinks she can sit with me. I know, Ruby always wants to sit with me. Okay, wait, it's blurry. You're blurry? Mm -hmm. So Sophie and I are gonna explain about Chance. Let's not play with the dog while we explain. My epiphany today was that we posted a video and I titled it Sophie's Perfect Horse, which was Denver. Like, she's amazing on him. You think that you ride him amazing? Yeah, I need to watch that video. Yeah, like, we love her on Denver. That's why I make sure she always gets an opportunity to ride Denver. I'm the one that says, like, I want her to ride less than Pony. So, Denver is not for sale. He's a lesson horse. She's not guaranteed to if ride him. If he was him. for sale, we'd buy him. We would have bought him long ago, obviously. He's not for sale. She's not even guaranteed to ride him once a week because he has other riders as well. I was able to secure him for her for show season so that she can show him, which was like such an exciting part of our journey. Like she gets to show Denver, which is amazing. We have always felt Denver was perfect for her. We love her riding Denver. We love everything about Denver. And then people are like, in the comments today, people are like, finally, you're listening to us. Denver is the right horse. And I'm like, whoa, why is there this huge disconnect? Like, why do people think we don't think Denver is the right horse for Sophie? Of course he is. He's not available. He's not for sale. He, we have limited access to him. The reason that we buy a, we want to buy a horse for Sophie and have a horse for Sophie, even if it's just a lease horse, is because we ride a lot more than just once a week on a lesson horse. And she wants to have her own horse and her own journey. <clears throat> and we want that for her. We spend most of our life doing horses, so we want that for her. I was talking to my friend, I'm like, what the heck, why do people think <laughs> that we don't think Denver is right for Sophie? We're the ones that saw her ride him first and said like, this is the horse I want her to ride. So I think, so my friend told me that these are the things that she thinks people are concerned and confused about, and so I'm gonna try and answer your questions right here, right now, before this video gets going any further, I'm gonna try and be fast. Okay, so number two, why the heck would you even consider a horse like Chance? So Chance, who I think you named absolutely wonderfully, actually, yeah. I like argued with her about that name, but now I'm thinking, he that's the right name for this horse. So we've been looking for a horse for a long time, even before we sold Finn, and Brandon said, and it was, it's been really difficult to find geldings, and um, he found Chance, and he said, this horse is really quiet, I think we should try him. So Brandon brought him to our farm, and we are trying him. So basically he said, you know, he's really quiet, he's really good, he's underweight, I think we can fix that, and then he'll be a good fit for Sophie. So for me, the biggest concern is his health and his fitness level. And so I said, yeah. So we said, yeah, let's give him a chance. He's quiet, he's a nice horse, he's sweet and amazing, he's a good size. Height wise, he's going to fill out. Our vet said it, our chiropractor said it, like they all know he, once he's, like he's gonna fill out and he, he's gonna be fine. They're gonna be, he's gonna be a good fit physically eventually. And so that's what we're working on. It's my biggest concern and it, and it's just a process of trying to figure it out, trying to like figure out all the things. So he gets a lot of food right now. He goes one step up with his weight and then like one step back and then he goes one step up and then one step back. And we're just figuring out all the things right now to give him a chance. So then my friend said, well, what happens if you give him a chance and then you end at least in six months and then he, cause it takes a while for that stuff to, to work out. Like we're, we're in the giving him a chance stage right now. And she said like, if you buy this horse, you're stuck with him and then suddenly he doesn't fit for Sophie. Then what are you gonna do, slap a bigger bit on him? And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> 
<laughs> do people actually think this? Like, so number one, we can lease chance as long as we want. Brandon is absolutely incredible. And same with Finn. We can lease Finn until Gabby goes to college. We can lease Finn until Gabby turns 25 and decides she doesn't want to ride anymore. Like there's, it's an open ended lease. We just continue the lease. We just re-lease them after each period is over. His show name is Take a Chance. Yeah, and. We're taking a chance on him. Yeah, and also I wanted to address the bid situation. Not bidding has never been our choice. We are students in a lesson program. Mm -hmm. So there's zero chance of of us bidding up with chance because that's not who our trainer is right now. I'll be getting a bigger bit. And then my friend said, okay, so you buy this horse in six months and he gets crazy because he's finally at a good healthy weight and you've assessed all the issues that he has or any issues that he could Same potentially have. Uh, yeah, it's the exact same thing that happened with Finn. And Finn and Sophie were fabulous until she started to outgrow him. And that's when things started to get like a little bit where it was time for us to move on. And that's the thing. If, chan if we lease Chance for two years and then he gets to a point where Sophie can't handle him, if we buy him and in, and we, or if we buy him in six months and then two months later he gets to be too much horse for Sophie, then the end result is the same. Then he's not the right horse for Sophie. We're giving him a chance. And if at any point something happens and we get him healthy, because that is our goal right now. Like, but we're, we're, but that is our goal to make sure that he's he healthy. He's so quiet and so calm for a five year old boy. And I, people keep telling me that those horses are out there. And I just want to make sure that that's who he is before we make any decisions on him. Like we are working on getting him to his highest potential, making sure they're a good fit before we move on. Right now, are you a good fit with Chan? Yeah. Well, I mean, in a Chan lot of ways. Has, like Everything we did to him makes him lazy. Like somehow. Like she she is a good fit in a lot of ways. Their personality and their style are really good. She has a, already a, such a clear bond with him. But physically, I don't think that he is is at his optimum optimum energy level. I don't feel like he is, and we're trying to figure that out and trying to get him there. And our vet wants us to take it slow, and we are. Laura what it why can't she have a horse that is like denver and just does everything and is completely trained and balanced and knows everything and then he can just teach sophie and i agree that would have been ideal again we're just giving chance a try chance might not be balanced might not know everything and finn was exactly the same way and here's the discrepancy some people feel that finn and sophie were horrible from beginning to end is that how we feel no no sophie looked amazing on finn she was such a good little kid on a little pony and rode him beautifully for very very long it was the last six months or so when she really started to change and grow and went through her growing and started her growing stage where it started to go downhill a little bit more just another thing is that a lot of people think that sophie will be training this horse to be her horse on her own and that is not the case either sophie trained finn she had so much help in the meantime, do we think giving Chance a chance is worth it? Absolutely. Are we at the very beginning stages and you guys are seeing a process of us seeing if we can get him to be a good fit for Sophie? Then absolutely, that is where we are. We're at the beginning. And I know it's really hard to watch a process unfold from not perfect to perfect. And so that's what we're at any point, if things don't work out, then we will move on. Right, Soph? Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I wanted to say. Like, a lot of your views are the same views as ours, but we're taking, but we're giving them a chance to, to see if we can make it work. And all of our professional team assure us that it's just a process of getting him where he needs to go um, and that he would be a really good fit for Sophie. And if he's not, we'll move on. And that's it. That's the end of that. Yeah, this is too early for this. All right, let's go. Let's go have breakfast because it is, oh, it is summer vacation for us. Chicken update. <laughs> this is my friend Frizzle. Frizzle and Frazzle. I want to show you her. There's no Frazzle, so he says. But this is her. <laughs> She's so cute. She's this big ball of fluff. 
and she's little. <laughs> this is her other one. We have Frizzle and Frazzle. One's gray, no. one's gray, and one's black. This is Frizzle, and this is Mizzle. <laughs> I say Frizzle and Frazzle. No, this is Mouse. It is way better having just a few chickens than having all the babies. All the babies are gone to their new home and that has been such a, a lifesaver. But these are two that we kept. We sold a lot of our chickens. We hatched a lot of chicks this year and then sold them, which is one of the fun things that you can do when you have chickens to make money. So cute. This and, is Snow White. And we have Snow White too. And she's a cochin as well. You guys know I have a gray and a white cochin and she's she a cochin. Yeah, so cute. Sophie's favorite thing to do every afternoon is to come down and play with the horses. And so we always end up doing it. Usually Gabby comes with us too, but today she cleaned out my van for me. I asked her if she cleaned the van and it's our first day of summer and that was her task for the day. And she did and now she's exhausted. So she's staying up at the house. The horses are excited though. her and now we can't even get away from her now she's like just give me whoa <laughs> she tried to eat you guys she smile. now she's like you just do whatever i tell me whatever you want me to do and i will do it sometimes we just lay on the couch down here and just hang out like honestly this is what we do like for hours like scratcher and rubber and she massages me and i lay on the couch and we do it and it's so fun yeah don't you know that you're beautiful 